welcome back. Now we have a couple of adorable kitties who are sure to win your heart and twist your tongue with their names. Please introduce us to Willow and Willie. Well, we have Willow and we have Willie, <laughs> and they are siblings. They were found in a parking lot with oil and grease and fleas. Oh my gosh, what a way to start their little life. But we brought them in, a, a good Samaritan brought them in to us, and they have been with a foster family, um, Joanne and Larry, who are awesome fosters. So if you get a Joanne and Larry kitty, you are, <laughs> this is great. <laughs> These two, um, she's on the shy side. As you can tell, she's very mellow, very quiet. She's like a little lynx point Siamese. She has icy blue eyes. She's so beautiful. And he is more the leader of the pack and kind of tells her what to do. But they, they seem a little bit more mellow here. But when they're home, they are romping and playing and having the best time with each other. They are very, very bonded. Um, she really relies a lot on him. So if, they, if you could see it in your heart to adopt two, they are so much better in pairs. Yes, so cute. Thank you so much for that, ladies. And just because it's Adopt a Shelter Dog Month doesn't mean we're forgetting our kitty friends. Due to cat capacity issues, the Arizona Humane Society is hosting free adult cat adoptions and $50 kitten adoption fees today and tomorrow at all four of our locations. HS currently has almost 200 cats and kittens available, so visit azhumane.org slash adopt to see who is the perfect kitty for you. And if anyone's ever wondering which direction they need to go, I think this pup is going to be a little biased on that. What do you think, Lisa? Yes, West says we always go West. <laughs> so I always say on the show, if you see something, if you see some animal cruelty, say something. And West is probably with us today for that reason. Uh, somebody contacted our EAMTs to report that West was in a neighbor's backyard and was injured. And I don't know if you can see down both of his front legs and all over the top of his head, he's got little wounds all over him. So thank goodness that Good Samaritan contacted our EAMT dispatch line and we sent an EAMT out for him. When he came back and was checked out at the hospital, he required a few weeks of uh, honey bandage wraps. It's something that helps heal, a natural way to heal. And he was just the sweetest thing. Every technician that changed his bandages has just fallen in love with him. He's another don't judge a book by his cover. He may look like a beefcake, but he is just one giant lap dog. He just is dying for attention. So please come down and meet West. You won't be disappointed. He's very, very sweet. And speaking of meeting, if you have uh, cats at home and you want to introduce your dogs, we got some tips for you. Let's take a check. Let's check out this video. Okay, Daddy's leaving for lunch. Can you two be good while I'm gone? Worried about your pets fighting like cats and dogs while you're gone? Thanks to our Pet Resource Center's how-to video series, you can answer all your pet-related questions, including how to help your pets get along. Visit azhumane.org slash pet behavior for more details. And we absolutely love bunnies here on Pets and Parade, especially big, handsome ones like this boy. We're so glad to have Mateo here with us, Barry. Right, Kelsey. This is one of the rabbits of this very publicized case where we took in 166 rabbits from a situation that was not very good. Uh, living outdoors in a hot shed, rusty wire cages covered in feces. Uh, many of them have gone to rescue organizations. We've done lots of adoptions and still yet some are still in foster care and waiting to be adopted. This is one big bunny, I think bigger than Anna Mae right here. This guy is a very, very soft little guy. He's looking for a forever home. If you are an educator, by the way, a teacher of any kind, check out our free critters that can go to schools and be educational animals. They live there. They live with you. It's a fantastic thing. Go to our website and read more bunny tips on our pet behavior area. Oh, so cute. Thank you for that. And is there anything cuter than Cletus's ears flapping in the wind? We don't think so. Uh, Cletus originally arrived to AHS in December of 2018 as a project reach out transfer from the Humane Society of Wickenburg, where he had been for more than a year prior. Other than some dental work and an ear infection, which is common in dogs like this, Cletus has remained in pretty good health, but he struggled to find the right family to heal his heart. He's been adopted and returned a few times, and as much as we hate to see him back at our doors, we've learned more and more about Cletus's ideal home. 
He would love to find a family who's familiar with his breed and can commit to training and lots of exercise. This goofy guy loves to run and play. He will need to be the only baby in the home. Kids must be 13 years or older and no other dogs. You can get to know him at our Campus for Compassion location today. And while he might have the energy of a horse, Charlie definitely isn't going to give us a Charlie horse, but he sure is playful, Janine. <laughs> Look at this face. He's so cute. He's this beautiful fawn color. He's about a year old, so he definitely has puppy energy still. So he'd be really great with a family that wants to romp and play with their animal. And he does get a little bit reactive to other dogs, but that's because he just is still a one-year-old. So he definitely needs to um, go through our um, our classes, our training classes, which when you adopt, you get a 20% discount on training classes. So, but he's very treat motivated. Obviously, he found the box of treats. So, hey, you, come here. And he came from our, he came from our Casa Grande. Uh, we have a partnership with the, uh, the Casa Grande. Um, shelter so but he's he's going to be great with any families he just needs to learn a little boundary training but i'm not worried one bit about him look at this little oh, boy yes and he loves other dogs too so if you have dogs at home that'd be great and we have a sweet little bear kitty coming up after break after the break we're going to tell you all about this little one